Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, this is probably the first normal vlog type video in a while, given the past couple of weeks and the crap that the crew has been going through. Um, but, yeah, kind of... I have no idea if that was heard, so I'm just going to reiterate reiterate it. But yeah, everyone's feeling better. Everyone on the Nostalgia Trains crew is feeling much better. Okay. Hey so, guys, I'm over here working on some wedding vows for this dork. Since I have no... Actually, that was what I was going to talk about today. Um, this is more going to be kind of an about me. Um, I am going to note, though, before I start this episode, officially... Um, I'm pretty much reaching out, keeping it open, that if you guys start seeing vlogs from either Pink Fox, Amber, or Aaron, uh, it's pretty much, uh, the channel's becoming more widespread. If any of the three of us does a type of video, it's always going to go to the first one if it's something live, or something that um, is planned in the sense of, like, reality, I guess you could say. But anyway, I digress. What she was talking about is actually something that I was going to talk about. And I've talked about this in a vague extent before. But I've never been really good with scripted things. In fact, for me specifically, I've always been the kind of person to just... When, when I talk about something, it's always just like up front like, like this. I'm not going off of a script. She didn't jump in uh, like because it was scripted or anything, it just happened naturally. Anything I usually say or do is just off of instinct. For some reason, I have, and keep in mind, I actually have tried scripting a couple of things before, but it always goes a different direction. And even if it stays on the same topic, I never use the direct words that the script itself says, because for some weird reason, I, I don't know how to conform this other than what I'm about to say, but I just, I, when, I, when I read something, I can't, I, for some reason my brain doesn't go say these exact words, my brain will like go through it and kind of go off on its own tangent. I guess that's one of the reasons why I started doing uh, these in the first place, long before the train actually really started trug um, chugging down the tracks, but I don't know, I guess... Like, I, 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 some good examples of this. For me, anything that's just said naturally, it's it seems to come out a bit better for me, at least. A scripted thing, I guess if I was looking at something written, which I'm actually looking at another screen right now every time I look in this direction and in this direction, but um, the I, for, I, when it comes to scripting, I can spend time, like, writing out um, some things to say, some ideas, but unless these things that I'm writing aren't, like, a script, but more like a, just, just, just a little project on the side, and I want to repeat it, or reiterate it, or something like that, I'll, like, look at it, go through it, because I'm also the one who scripts these kind of things as well for myself, um... So since I already know what I'm thinking and what I'm going to say, I can never go off of the direct wording. I guess this is kind of one... Like, if I were to do, like... Let's say I started doing a skit with um, Amber and Aaron at a point about, I don't know, an idiotic news reporter. But the thing about the thing about this is if news reporters, for those who don't know, do read off of something that is in front of them, and they'll kind of just copy what's being. Called a teleprompter. Thank you. Um, but yeah, they they read off of something called a teleprompter. Thank you, Pink Fox, for. <laughs> uh, I forgot actually the term. I'm not even gonna lie, but. If, if I were to go through that kind of thing, I'd look at it and go, I'm just going to say this in my own wording. 
because I, I don't know what it is about my brain. It won't allow that kind of thing. I know I've talked about this before, but for some weird reason, it's, it's just something that I kind of emphasize on. I cannot script. I could try, and I have tried, but like with one of the History Talk episodes that we did, I don't remember which one it was, but as I was reading through the script that I wrote, I had verbally changed so many statements from that script that if I were to repeat it, I guarantee it's like a game of telephone. The more I repeat it, the further from the original script I'd end up going. I guess that just the things that come natural to me, the words that come natural, are a bit more meaningful in my mind. I, I, I'm not exactly sure why or like how else to approach it other than that kind of ideal, but I guess it just it is what it is. Anyway, I feel like if I try to talk about this anymore, it's going to go on a big loop in case it hasn't yet, which I'm pretty sure it probably has. One way or the other, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Um, this About Me episode, which we haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, if you liked this, though, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, vlogs are up every day, regardless of what it might be about. Um, if you want to check those out, for one, you can click the link on this side where it'll show you all the About Me videos, even if it starts adding on to other individuals as well um want to check out anything that might float your boat a little bit more link on this side of my head and the train will take you to the location you might be looking for if not quite that one why not check the channel itself you might find something there in the meantime gonna head off thanks again for tuning into this video everyone hope to catch you guys in another see you guys later